WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials flat, NASDAQ up 11, S&P's also flat, gold. Gold up $3.20, trading at 1521 an ounce. We had silver flat, $17.92 an ounce. Late sweet crude off 90 cents, $60.72 a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10 year down six ticks, 128.10. 30 year off 19 at 155.21. Now, if we get over this 10 year and take a look at it, what you're going to see out here, folks, is this. Yesterday, high volatility inside this bond market in the spades. Today, same setup. What you're going to see out here, yesterday you had a rejection of lower price. You had lighter volume. Bottom line, I expect you're going to see the same thing out here today. It's pretty incredible, though, how this bond market is moving around. Yesterday, we got down to a price point of 128.05. You did 800,000 contracts, but guess what? You were going into 2.7 million. Today, bottom line, I suspect, you know, maybe we'll do 800, maybe we won't. Bottom line is that what you'll see out here uh, as we move through the trading day today, by noontime, it's a full day out here, but by noontime, you're going to see this thing slow down a huge way. King dollar is the number out here, meaning as we kick into 2020, King dollar has broken its uptrend that has been in place since February of 2018. And you get a break here with conviction. Uh, bottom line is that uh, within uh, two weeks, we just went from 97 uh, 814 down to 96, 497. And what that's all about, of course, is that if we go over to the euro, what you're going to see is that the euro is on the verge of breaking its downtrend from the same date, meaning February of 2018. Bottom line is that the uh, euro is trading out there at 125, gets all the way down to a price point of 108. Right now we're at 112. The pound, which is a smaller part of the U.S. dollar, had already broken its downtrend and that baby right now is trading at 132 and the way this is set up you know the last uh, high out here was the 135 level that's when johnson had a decisive victory over in the uk uh, that being said that took out the whole consolidation from the 133 and that's saying that actually wants to go up to 143 so i expect what we're going to see coming into 2020 is that you're going to see a uh, very large change of trend inside the U.S. dollar. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back.